confused. I know it's a Thursday. We're doing the Friday Rumble. We just want to beguile you. The real reason is I've got the day off uh, tomorrow, so we thought we'd do the Rumble today because no one handles it like me. <laughs> Oi, what a thing to say. <laughs> They're both here, David Menzies. Hello, David. Hello, Michael. David, uh, Menzoid uh, mornings every... <laughs> That's what it's called, uh, yes. Every, it's been a long Your week. Your TV guy didn't come in the mail I'm today. Right? very well. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's been a, an editor and columnist and all sorts of things, really. And he likes dressing up as women. Yeah. You, you do sometimes. You do it quite also, a lot. So do I. We have that one thing in common. Yeah, you, do. You, do, and you do, and you do it very well. You, again, you've been an editor and you're a politician now. You're a yes. municipal councillor and a bleeding heart liberal. And let's begin with your boy, Dalton McGinty, who... Tom Dalton, my boy. Yeah. Well, you're a liberal. You're a liberal, <laughs> yes, and you I voted am. for him. Yes, I did. Of course, you did. Actually, because uh, not directly. I voted for the candidate that uh, re that was with the same party. And, and who won in your writing? The in my writing, it's a conservative who held writing. Uh, Jane McKenna for okay. now, a long time. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> Dawn McGinty <laughs> sat in front of a committee of Queens Park. Uh, made up of all the parties representing the people of Ontario, they asked intelligent questions. They weren't mm -hmm. rude. They weren't lacking in courtesy. He treated them with utter contempt. The disdain that, that he evinced for them, he laughed. He joked. Hundreds of millions of taxpayers' dollars. You can say that hospitals lost money because of Dalton McGuinty wasting their money to try and be mm -hmm. re-elected. And then the emails were deleted mysteriously, and he lied through his teeth about that. Even liberals watching this were embarrassed and sickened. Were you? Absolutely. I, oh, I think, I think uh, Kathleen Wynne took the right approach to apologize and to say we're going to try and get to the bottom of it. And, <laughs> and she did, and she's trying to, and I think that's exactly, you know, apologies from any party that, that wastes taxpayers' money, that is involved in scandal, that is the right approach. So and we don't scandal. see that. Absolutely. What has Kathleen Wynne done? She's apologized for the, the gas plant spending. She has... <laughs> Um, you know, she's trying to understand what uh, trying to understand. what went wrong with the with the. Well, she was at the center of power when it happened. <laughs> she, well, she yes, was campaign she, manager. So, but she I was a senior I don't know, minister. Yes, and I she was not part of that. I decision. had no, I had no idea. She was, no, she oh, was not what? part of that decision. Oh, I'm so but sorry. The, the point that I'm trying to make is that when you find out that you've made a mistake, that you've uh, had incorrect facts, that you've done things that you shouldn't have, or other people in your party. Have done Should McGinty things, be prosecuted? And that reflects on you. You need to Should apologize. McGinty be prosecuted? Well, has he committed a criminal act? Has he? I don't. Is deleting an email a criminal act? Yes. In this context, may well be. Well, it is. It's theft. It's theft of uh, property that does not belong to you, Michael. That's why we have a police investigation into this. I thought the smoking gun moment uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, McGinty's testimony was when he was saying, well, you know what, there was some confusion about the rules. You know, he deferred to unfrozen caveman lawyer kind of thing. You know, your tall skyscrapers and fast-moving cars frighten and confuse me. I'm just a Neanderthal. Now, let's, let's take him at his word. Say that the legislation that he and the Liberals brought in was confusing. There was some element that you didn't get. Why would your default position as a member of the Liberal uh, cabinet, be to not only delete the email, Michael, yeah, good point. but destroy the uh, email yeah. so it can't even be recovered. Why would you think that was the you know uh, proper way to proceed with something that was a little confusing? Mm. This stinks to high hell. Agreed, Marion. And, and, and by the way, and, and by the way, to address the uh, uh, other other thing about uh, Premier Two Mums, uh, here's the new boss. Meet the old boss. Uh, or vice versa, um, when she was a member of the inner circle, she knew what was going on at her coronation. And remember, this is a woman that no one has wasn't voted a to be. Coronation. Oh, come on. The, David. It wasn't an election, was it? The, the, no, oh, oh, and, wasn't, and wasn't, there did, are... I, did I interrupt you? You know, please. Okay. I, you know, I, I well, know well, I, you're, just, even if you're she making didn't. egregious statements that need to be corrected, but, well, but carry on okay. with what you. Very um, quickly, though, I want to move on. We, we see that image that's going to come back and haunt her. Uh. of her holding McGinty's hand up. Yes, we did it! Yep. You know, and so what does that tell Does it shake your faith in the Liberal Party? I think that every party is embroiled in scandal. I think it can affect anyone. What has the NDP done? What has the Conservative government done? What is the uh, is Conservative government in all... No, Just th say McGinty's a con is... man, a thief, a liar, wins part of the No, I think, I no. think every... Because you're trying to make it be partisan. The two of you are trying to suggest that it's just the Liberal Party that these things happen to. No, no. It is wrong, so. no matter I, who does it. The provincial Liberals are the, to blame here. 
The, Tories have the, done it in the past the, in places. Yes, this is the and Ontario so what Liberals. we need is good people to enter politics and admit when they made a mistake, and we ah. still don't have that. It's a hand-holding moment, everyone. Hold hands here. Come on. Good people. Come by our kid. Yeah. Let go my hand. <laughs> he wouldn't let go of my bloody hand. That was very troubling. Very briefly. He wants uh, to marry you. <laughs> well, it's now legal it everywhere is. in the world, in, in apart California, from... California, no. Um, as you know, they're, they're fighting back a bit uh, in, in California. Yes, I've heard that. Marion... Uh, Briefly on this one, Guy Earl, a very unfunny comic. And mm -hmm. when you're a comic and not funny, it's a bit of a problem. Yeah. He, was, he was in a, in a bar, apparently the client is 60% gay. Uh, there's nothing to do with not being gay or anti-gay or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, lesbian couple, been drinking all day, may have been uh, making out, certainly distracting him. He makes a comment, they make a comment, water is thrown, glasses are taken off. Mm -hmm. um, they get $15,000 because post-traumatic stress <laughs> And when they were asked, why didn't you leave? They said, we were too much in shock to leave. Mm -hmm. Another Supreme Court of BC has upheld the decision. Look, he's an idiot, frankly. He's not funny. He's out of his depth. They obviously are completely <coughs> bonkers. You know this is absurd. This it, it's a more, comedy club. This was more than just heckling. And this was more than somebody being yeah, they threw water over him. Offended by a joke, he went, he went up to them. They, there were more than, it was more than Did just a routine. Did he gas their families? What? Did he try and Is that the did standard he, that he unless you gas somebody's Marianne, family, you're it not was a comedy to... club and he made yes, a joke. It's a comedy. Yes, Post traumatic stress he, syndrome. He went into the crowd, he had an altercation with them. Words they threw were water at him. That's why. So why did they so why are you blaming the victim? He I'm not. starts said. I think they're all idiots. He, so the point is that it was more than just a joke. It's more than just heckling. And what you've done is Completely. Have you ever uh, met? Ignore the Marin, fact. The all Have the you facts. ever met anyone with post-traumatic stress syndrome? I have actually. Yes. You, and you know how yes, awful I it have. is. It is awful. You seriously believe uh, people? I, I've met kids who've lived through weeks of bombardment of their villages in, in, in Lebanon, for example, and these poor children. So why no, do you let think? Me, please let me finish the sentence because you know I couldn't give up about any of the people involved in this. It's just that my country is being raped by morons, and that's what really offends me. The idea of pretending you've suffered stress, the idea that you, you were so traumatized by something you couldn't e even leave the building. Can't you at least sit there and say a plague on both their houses and the government should not be involved and you're allowed to make Well, jokes. the government obviously looked at all of the evidence and said something happened here yeah, that was more did. than just, right. more right. than okay. just David, tackling. last word to you. Yeah, you know, Michael, at first I thought it was egregious, the idea that you can no longer be offensive even in a comedy club, but now I've had a uh, change of thought. Um, I think that we should have a new federal bureaucracy. It'll be called the Department of Humor Compliance. Uh, comedians will be <laughs> sensitivity trained prior to their act. Audiences <laughs> will be polled uh, before their um, uh, before anything such as a, a right. joke, uh, which in bureaucraties will be described as a short story with a humorous climax is uh, made and we'll have a registry of any offensive material okay. and make sure that you've gone on for long enough that, i think we've yes. got the point that was, yes. that was kind okay. of you know, funny you know but 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 the, but the be all and end all of this decision is you know sticks and stones may break my bones and names will never hurt me sorry kids not in canada anymore it's now illegal to be offensive well you know but in marianne mead ward's have, okay, you know, vision of a gay speech. multicultural we, universe we where nobody gets their feelings hurt there's a great We'll be back in a few I moments with a lot more on the <laughs> Thursday Rumble. We were telling jokes in the commercial break, and I thought mine was completely in context. Of course, David just went too far, so we fined him $15,000, which is about what a teacher is paid when they refuse to go to work. Sick days. Uh, now, I had a sick day. I've taken, I think, one sick day in 10 years on Tuesday. I was hallucinating. I had a fever. Um, I would have been well, quite good TV, really, but um, I didn't come in. But I don't take sick days. Teachers are allowed to sick day, uh, take sick days, and they, they could bank them. That was challenged. Anyway, they're now taking their sick days when they're not sick. It tends to be long weekends, Fridays and Mondays. And even when, we, when it was first exposed, the reaction was, yeah, they're taking more now. David. Well, isn't this missing the point of what a sick day mm. is? I mean, nobody in this day and age uh, who wants to run a reasonable agency or business or what have you, Michael, would begrudge somebody who is legitimately sick from taking a day off because you want the person to get better and you don't want that person to spread his or her germs, you know, in the environment. But this idea that this entitlement, that even though I didn't use them, it's a use them or lose them, so I'm going to use, uh, take it as a vacation date. 
uh, which means that a supply teacher is going to have to be brought in, which means more money, uh, which comes from, guess what, you know, the taxpayer dollars, right? Well, the they've actually run, substitute teachers, they, they've run out, they're only allowed a certain number of hours now. And in quite, in quite a few places, the hours are taken up. So there's simply no teacher. Now, most teachers don't do this. It would seem to me the teachers who have taken advantage of it should all be fired because they're just the sort of teachers who obviously aren't committed to their craft. Michael, you, you can run uh, porn in a, a class these days and not get fired. I mean, the benchmark for firing a teacher? Are you kidding me? Most teachers are very good. Most teachers well, really oh, yeah. work hard. This is not a slam, by the way, against most of the teachers, as you say. It's the teacher's union. It is the militants in that union yep. that is driving this insanity, and it's on our dime. Marianne. That's the problem. So they need to investigate why people are sick, and if they are not sick and they can't demonstrate that they're sick, then they need to be doctor It's pay. never going to happen. That, that, well, th it should happen because... Ma but because Mara, using, the union would never allow that to even be contemplated. Well, they need, they need to start doing that. You can, you can do that. You know what? The fire department, the police department, we get the reports where they have uh, occasionally... This is fantasy. They have, no, they have attendance <laughs> compliance. They How have many a whole program. Know? They have a whole, Teachers so have it, been given this for more than 30 it. years. No, it would point never, is, ever you play. You can do this in a unionized environment. It happens in the other public sector. You, don't you have to look at it and and You don't know teaching. People. You don't know teachers and teachers' it, unions. That, that's, it's, that's not the point. I am trying to appeal to, point. no, yeah. a principle that in a unionized environment, you can investigate why people are sick. Of course and you, you can. can. This is a different type pay. of environment, though. Teachers have assumed that, that sick days... So you don't, you don't ask the union to enforce it. You do it yourself. <laughs> Who's the who? school board. The school board. <laughs> the school, yes. Why not? Okay. Why not? So if they're all, you know, if they're all part of Which that. Which you make your education minister. <laughs> it's not how the system works, so, Marion. Well, so what, may, we throw up our uh, hands and say, oh, my God, this is terrible. And another reason to beat up Teachers have banked in uh, up to half a year worth of sick days and claim maybe thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to the golden yeah, handshake so on retirement. That, and that has been eliminated as it should have been. I've been a freelancer for uh, 10 years before I became an elected official. Yeah. Yeah. In I don't get sick days as an elected official, and I certainly didn't get sick days when I was... So I don't have any sympathy for that unless you're truly sick. I certainly don't think you are entitled. You don't get it. To, you don't get to bank it. Golly, you're a fascist. All, I, I guess so. Okay, uh, and so. I do have a hard time with people abusing it and feeling that they're entitled. But if people are legitimately right. ill, that's, uh, you, that's totally Rob, fine. Rob Ford and his brother have a radio show on News Talk 1010 uh, where I work, but you don't because you're with a competitor. And apparently someone who went on to work for his office, he was then suspended, was phoning in under assumed names, pseudonyms, like Dave and Rob and John from various areas and attacking uh, Ford's opponents supporting Ford. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid, having worked in radio for years and years and years and way, way too many years, actually, this happens all the time. Right and left do yeah, it. You know, you know, they, well, they plant their people. Big deal. I think, I think it's kind of quaint, actually, that in this day and age of technology, we assume that everybody always uses their real name when they call in to say anything. Yeah. You know, we should all be skeptical about what we read online, what we hear on the radio. Unless you are on camera and willing to go by your own name, I think we should take a grain of salt with everything that people say. Because if you're not willing to back it up and stand behind it, then I'm not really interested in what you have to well, say. Well, I can tell you, I've, 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 I've seen a couple of times this week the guys who work on that show. And someone calls in. We, no one traces their number. If they did that, people wouldn't phone in. They no. give you a name. Unless you really recognize them, you can't say no. And you've got to come expected to recognize every caller. There are thousands of them over a week. They put the person on. And... Um, the calls aren't stat because people can phone in and say, I want to say how much I really, really um, love Rob Ford. And then when they get on, they can say, I hate you. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it, there are a lot of Rob Ford likers. But yeah. people have then said, CRTC complaint. This is appalling. This is dreadful. <laughs> I, I've, I've hosted shows, but I know you can hear in the background. It's a Liberal Party collective. They're yeah. all there making calls. All, you know, all wow, parties do this. No, so no, um, Michael. <laughs> yes, they are. Actually. To me, to me, the news value of this story is right up there with, say, reporting that there's salt water in the Pacific Ocean and that the sun will rise in the east tomorrow. Um, there's even a term for it. It's called astroturfing. You know, where you have wow. fake callers phone in to support your candidate, and by the way, uh, en masse phone in against a opposing candidate and, uh, you know, try to discredit yep. him or her. All parties do it. So, so I guess, it, the, I guess the conclusion that we should draw is that we shouldn't 
listen, when we're listening to radio or looking at any other medium, we shouldn't assume that that's an accurate poll of how anybody feels about anything. The conclusion that we draw, once again, is be, it's the Ford factor. Because it's Rob Ford getting caught doing something. Oh, here that, we go. Well, well, here well, we go. Well, yeah. It's Rob. Yeah, keep Rob, playing, baby. I'll join Rob, you. Yeah, you want to play? The worst. Well, you know what? That is, so play, tired. Right? Huh? that is so tired. That is so tired and completely off. Well, what, what he, every single time he Absolutely. gets caught doing something or one of his people gets caught doing something, Ca caught, it's the liberal media out to get me. It's your some, own stupidity. It's your he? own people. Huh? No, 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 Mary Amy Ward. You He's have... got a staffer calling into his show to pretend to be average Dave to try and what? Tell us all that everybody loves Ford and thinks that everything he's so doing is do great? Do you dispute what I just said earlier, that every party does this? I mean, if you, what, if you talk what off the record... What relevance is that to anything? The point, the point uh, that I'm trying to make is that anytime anybody calls Rob Ford on the carpet for anything that he's done, he just says it's your fault, the media, for reporting this. Think, he never owns up to anything, and that is a lack of character. Do you think the majority of the mainstream media, if they found out that a supportive caller to Premier two moms, uh, was a friend or a colleague or a staff member. He doesn't do his own member. TV show to try and pretend uh, he, you that... You mean she, don't you? Or I don't know who you're talking about when you say Kathleen Premier Wynn, two Kathleen Wynne, who do you think? I think, I think he's referring to Premier, <laughs> Premier Dad being Dalton, and now he's making a joke. Premier and, two moms. Okay. Yeah. I'd, rather in, I'd rather enjoy that little session. I could just sit back and think about what I'm going to have for, 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 for dinner. Thank you very much indeed. Happy Thank Dominion you. Day, Michael Korn. Thank you. Oh. Happy, happy